So now we're going to learn about the flex wrap property and the different values we can set to the flex wrap property. And we're learning about container properties here. So if you remember our CSS tricks uh, guide to Flexbox, right? CSS tricks Flexbox. We've divided up or they've divided up the different properties that you could set. On the left, you have the properties you could set on the flex container. And on the right, you have the properties you could set on the flex item. So we are over here and we're looking at the properties you could set on the flex container. And so we saw that display makes something a flex container, right? And so that's how we make a flex container. And we could set flex direction, flex wrap, all these different properties. We're going to look at flex wrap first because I think that's a better starting point. And when we talk about flex direction, we got to talk about cross axes and main, main axes and cross axes. That's in the next video. So we're going to look at flex wrap. And so here's what flex wrap does, right? We could do flex wrap and we can set it to no wrap, wrap, and wrap reverse. And that's also listed right here. Flex wrap can be set to the values of no wrap, wrap, and wrap reverse. And no wrap is the default. So what does that look like? We have this HTML right here, all those divs, and then we have these three CSS files. And the only difference between these three, three CSS files is I'm changing flex wrap right there from wrap to no wrap to wrap reverse, right? So from wrap to no wrap to wrap reverse. And when I do that, here's flex wrap, here's no wrap, and here's wrap reverse. It's interesting to compare wrap, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight through 16 with wrap reverse, which is one, two, three, four at the bottom, five, six, seven, eight, 16, right? So just kind of compare those numbers. Let me highlight them. That's kind of a cool idea. Well, they don't highlight well, so forget it. Compare those numbers, one, two, three, four, 16 bottom right, one, two, three, four, 16 top right. So that's the difference between flex wrap and flex wrap reverse. You don't really ever use flex wrap, wrap reverse. I, I don't. You might. It's kind of a nice novelty to be aware of that you could kind of change the order of things, change it up. But mostly you just use wrap, which is right here, and no wrap. And so look at the rest of the CSS. I've made my body a flex container, which means that all of its immediate children are now flex items, right? So that's my body becoming a flex container. And I've said, hey, wrap all of the children, wrap all the flex items. That's what this one says. And so it wraps them. And then here I say, don't wrap them, no wrap. And so it doesn't wrap them. It puts them all in one row. And the one thing that you don't see here, which is just automatically on by default, is flex direction. All right, so if I have flex direction row, that's the default for flex direction. That's automatically on in the background. Flex direction, the default is row, right? So it's putting them all in a row. If I wanted to, I could make this column, and this is the first one, so let's just look at that one. I can make this column, and then refresh, and it puts them all in a column, right? But by default, it's row. And you don't even need to specify that because that's the default, so I have it, which is why I think it's nice to start with flex wrap because you're not looking at two things, you're looking at one thing. All right, so that's flex wrap, and the only other thing to point out is here the div. I didn't apply any flex properties for the flex items, right? It's all just formatting width, height, margin, border, background color, text align center. So it's all just making those boxes kind of into a box. And so all we are looking at is flex wrap, no wrap, and uh, wrap reverse. I'm going to show you a little bit of a preview of what we'll learn when we learn about the properties for the flex items, right? We're going to learn about flex grow. And I just want to give you a little bit of a preview of what that looks like because it's pretty cool. And so I put that right here and same sort of HTML. And then here, flex direction or display flex. So the body was the flex container. This is the flex container, which means all these are flex items, right? And I'm making that body the flex container with this line right here. And then flex direction row, that's the default. We're going to see more about flex direction in the next video. And then flex wrap, I'm just wrapping it. But then I add in flex grow. So without it, we're basically looking at what we saw just a minute ago, right? And it's like, okay, cool, right? 
But that's kind of weird. This one's over here on the left. So if we add on the flex item property, and we'll learn about this many videos from now, if we add that on, it's going to make them all grow to fill in the space, which is really cool because then you get, I mean, you have to account for it in your layout design, but then you get, you know, nicely growing items, which look good. Anyhow, all right, so that's flex wrap, and you could set the property flex wrap. It's a container property, flex wrap, and you could set the values to no wrap, wrap, and wrap reverse, and no wrap is the default.